Let's hear it for the uh, Times Higher Education for putting on these awards. Let's hear it for them, first of all. Let's, uh, let's do that. But there's a lot to celebrate. I mean, British universities are going from strength to strength. It's a very great event. It's an enormous opportunity for people in the sector to get together and to talk about their issues. It's a fantastic evening every year. Um, quite apart from recognising all the wonderful things that universities do, which deserve recognition, it's a great night. Getting everybody together, literally round the table and in the bar afterwards, uh, in a super way to celebrate success is what this is all about. Straight away it was clear that the, the sector wanted a night to come out and have a, have a party. I think this is one of the most upbeat events of the calendar. Now it's become like the Oscars of the HE world and people are here to not just celebrate their own achievements but celebrate everybody else's achievements and our collective contribution to world new knowledge creation. It's just fantastic. Recognition of all the individuals across the higher education sector who work tirelessly to ensure that we are the best sec higher education sector in the world. incredible uh, excellence across many different fields and dimensions that working together really deliver the achievements and the amazing achievements of higher education in the UK. People from our universities are able to come here, feel really proud of what they've achieved and actually celebrate. Okay, right, well let's begin. Fantastic. We're really proud that we've done something that works with academic and development uh, management teams and actually bring the whole cohort of management together. The feeling is absolutely tremendous and my team members who are with me, they just can't stop being excited and you know, uh, thrilled about what's happened today. I'm delighted, I'm absolutely over the moon, I'm still shaking. We have been shortlisted four times in the last seven years and I think we have demonstrated that record of quite dramatic improvement over that time. Please finish with a round of applause for the winners of the THE Awards 2014.